Hey y'all. It is, um, let me see, what day is, oh, it's Monday. Um, I am on my way. Yeah, Tank is loud because I'm going up a hill and he always gets loud when he does that. Um, I'm on my way to Fry's because my new laptop that I've had for about a week, the audio is not working correctly. I can't hear. It's so low that I can't hear it. I made sure I had my hearing aids in, didn't make any difference. Um, I even used my little uh, headphones, I guess you would say, or earphones. And usually, like if I plug those into my phone or my tablet, it raises the volume really high and you get a little message that says um, listening to your devices at this loudness or whatever volume may cause uh, ear damage or hearing whatever anyway you guys that ever use those things you know what I'm talking about and even when I was using those I still couldn't hear good enough so I'm gonna take it back and um, I don't want them to fix it. Um, I want them to give me another one. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I shouldn't have to have a repair done on a brand new laptop. No. I looked at my settings to make sure they were adjusted. I checked my volume. It's on loud. So I don't know what the problem is with that. But we'll see. But one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, when I am checking my comments, I tap on your comment, it opens it up so I can reply, and there's a little arrow that I tap to send. Now they've combined all my comments into one place. YouTube studio which is awesome because I was getting them on my email and then I would get them in YouTube studio and sometimes I'd forget whose I'd answered and all that so that's much better but sometimes and it's not always the same people but sometimes I'll tap on somebody's comment and it will not open it won't open so I just want you guys to know that, and if I've covered that before, I'm sorry, but I just don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. And I found that if it's possible throughout the day to respond to some comments, then really I'm able to get to much more of them. So uh, I just wanted you to know that because I feel really bad when I tap on your comment and I can't answer you in any way. And you are not people that I have blocked. So I don't know what the problem with that is, but if you ever send me a question and I don't answer it, please send it to me again because I do want to answer all your questions. Now, I'm going to answer a couple that um, folks have asked me. One of them is, how did Mary Jo and I meet? Well, I was looking for an apartment for some friends who were going to be stationed out here in Camp Pendleton. Um, they were friends of mine and my husband, and so I told them I'd go out and uh, find them an apartment. So I went to this really nice community, and I went in, and it was so pretty, and the young lady, the leasing consultant, took me on a tour of the property and she showed me the tennis court, the swimming pool, and the gym and all that jazz. Which, if you pay for all that stuff and you don't use it, that's a waste of your money. You should go to an apartment community that doesn't have those things and your rent will be a little bit less. Anyway, I said to this young lady, I said, you know, this looks like kind of a fun job. And she said, apply 
apply for it. I'm leaving. My husband got orders to go to the East Coast. So, you know, I'm thinking, well, I have a lot of years experience with customer service. And that's basically what it is. You have to have good customer service. The paperwork can be learned in a snap. So I applied for it. I got um, hired. And Mary Jo was the assistant manager there. So that's how we met. Now the woman who was the manager there, you guys, that woman was a witch. I'm serious, with a capital B. She was so mean and hateful. I mean, she was ugly. So, um, she broke a lot of laws. She um, broke fair housing laws. In fact, we only had one apartment available in our community and it was in her building and she told me she said Deborah do not rent to anybody with children in my building well y'all that is like that is discrimination extraordinaire so we had a couple come in couple days later she was at lunch and they had two little kids and we only had that one apartment so I excused myself and I went in the back office and I called Jackie and I said Jackie you're gonna have to come down and um, talk to these folks because we've only got the one unit available and they have children she was so mad so she came down and explained to them that um, we didn't have anything available. There was no way I was going to do that. I mean, that you can get sued not only as a company for discrimination, but as an individual person. So anyway, she went on Christmas vacation. And when she got back, I had put in my notice and I had quit. And she was furious. Now, poor Mary Jo had to work closer with her than I did. But um, Mary Jo would be in tears sometimes because this woman was so hateful. So about two or three weeks after I quit, Mary Jo quit. It was harder for her because she had two little children. But anyway, um, we have been friends ever since, and that was a very long time ago. So that is how I met my dearest friend. Now you guys do something fun today. I volunteered this morning and that was my fun thing. So I'm going to get to Fry's and see what the answer is for my laptop and then hurry back to Mary Jo's because Hazel is there. And um, I don't like her to be alone for very long, you guys. And I guess we're going to go to the park because it is hot today. Mary Jo has a bunch of other stuff she's doing today. But anyway, um, I love you guys. Do something fun today. And I will talk to you later.